What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today I'll be going over how to save a selected range as a PDF. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the upper left I got my VBA editor. Below that I've got my test folder. Um, to the right I've got my Excel worksheet. And what we want to do is create a selection that we um, populate with whatever data and then save that selection as its own PDF. So let's create our selection here. Let's create some type of report, um, like a sales report, like a cookie sales report. Let's do that. All right, cookie sales report. And let's go ahead and merge all this together. add a border and let's go ahead and also insert some type of illustration icons do they have cookies all right let's go with the gingerbread man make this a little bigger Let's make the wording a little bigger too. 18, 24. Let's make it bold. Oops. Okay, and then underneath. let's put like the date today's date so we just have to do equals today open parentheses close parentheses and this format let's change the format of this this one works Okay, and then let's put a border around that. All right, so our cookie types, let's do gingerbread, of course. And then let's have chocolate chip, chocolate chip. All right, I think I spelled that right. And then oatmeal raisin. And we'll go ahead and align that one. Format, uh, format paint. Oops. Okay. Let's put outside borders on this part. Oh no, no, not outside borders. I want to all borders. Okay. And then. Let's, um, so let's say we have, this is a cookie sales report for the day, right? At our cookie shop. And we're going to include, hmm, let's do this. Let me delete these two. All right. And then we'll drag this out, move this over. So now, we don't have to format all these um, cells underneath. So I'll create a drop down. So I'll go to data and then here to data valid validation. Allow list and then my source will be these cookie types here. Okay, so now I've got a drop down. And we can just go ahead and copy and paste this drop down a little bit. Let's go down here with it down to 50 works paste that so now we got to drop down all the way down um, and let's go ahead and freeze this row so we'll go to view freeze panes freeze panes here so now we'll always see the top portion of our worksheet and we'll go ahead and select our cookie so let's say we sold 10 chocolate chip 
five oatmeal raisin, eight gingerbread, and we'll just have different cells throughout the day. And we'll apply different numbers to them depending on how many we sold each time. So let me just copy a bunch of these. Okay, and then let's just put some fake data in here. Okay, and then now at the top we'll use a sum ifs. So our sum range is going to be the actually that's not right so it should be yeah that's right from 16 to 50 oh it's 16 to 36 well, let's take it down to 50 16 C 16 to C 50 sum if so that's the range our criteria it's gonna be this and then our criteria range is going to be from B 16 to B 50 And that did not work. What did we do wrong here? Sum range. Criteria range. Oh, criteria range. Sorry, I should have flipped this. Okay. So let's go ahead and put dollar signs here to lock this set in place. Oops. Not there. But. You want those here in front of the numbers, dollar signs, to lock that 16 out of 15. All right, 16 and 50, sorry about that. Okay, so now I can drag this down. So now I've got my numbers, right? For gingerbread, I have 34 that I sold today, 124 chocolate chip, and then 25 raisin. Okay, so we want to save this report here this select this section as its own PDF so let's save it in, in the test folder let's create a folder inside of here so we can do cookie sales reports so we want to save this here so let's get into our sub we've got let's call it save range as PDF and we'll declare our variables. We've got PDF range as range. And then we've got WS as worksheet. So we'll set WS equal to this workbook. Sheets. And then the sheet name is sheet one. And then we'll set PDF range equal to WS and the range is going to be B2 down to C14 so B2 is where it starts upper left and then C14 is the bottom right that's where it's going to end okay so all we have to do now is with our PDF range we're going to export as fixed format type it's going to be Excel type PDF and then the file name let's go ahead and go to the next line The file name is going to equal this here. So we want to get this path. So I'll right click, copy as address, and I'll paste it. And you see how it kind of goes off the screen. Let's go ahead and put a quotation there an ampersand, space, underscore to keep the line going. And then 
we want to have a backslash here and then the actual name of our file um, ampersand underscore and the actual name of our file is going to be cookie sales report space and then let's also include um, the date so we're going to use this value here so I've got WS range and then this is going to be B11 and we want the text and then we still got a little bit more left so we got that and then dot PDF that's what's our that's what's our that's what our file name is going to be so now we're going to have another underscore and then a comma or we could just leave it up here so comma open after publish we'll do false for now and then that should do it so let's go ahead and add a button here so that whoever uses it can just go ahead and click the button and then generate the sales report for any given day so um, we'll insert illustration we'll use a shape and we'll go with um, or maybe use an icon let's no, let's go with the shape um, got that the fill let's make it something what's green green for money making some money um, and then the outline maybe orange or no something that stands out blue can you all see that on the outline barely all right um, let's edit the text and we'll say we'll call it, let's say generate report Let's go ahead and center that. Let's make that bigger. Okay, so alignment, let's make that in the middle. There we go, okay. So now we can right click, assign macro, and we've got save ranges PDF, our macro here, the name here. Click okay. So now we click this, and there you go, boom. Cookie sales report, March 3rd, 2022. So we can double click that. And you see we've got a cookie sales report. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so let's say for some people, if their report isn't aligned centered like this, you'll want to add this line of code. So it'll be page set up and then you can do center horizontally center vertically equals true or oh, we could do let's do false see what happens generate report And you see we're off to the left here. And then if I go here, it's an open after publish and make that true. The PDF should open up right when we click. So if I click it, and it opens up on its own. And it also gets saved. So it's to the left now. Change this to true. Let's delete the original copy here. Just so we can see it working. Generate report. And it's centered and you see it pop up here so yeah that's all I have for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one